Hi there, Lloyd Macedo Sweeney here from LloydMacedo.com, who is Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. All right. You remember a couple of months ago, there was this guy who, at an exhibition, art exhibition, they had, uh, this guy had a banana, banana plastered on a wall. Okay. And uh, it was costing some hundred thousand or whatever. So this one of the spectators, uh, the people are passing by, what he did is he removed the tape, ate the banana, <laughs> ate the banana <laughs> and, and uh, everyone was laughing about it. So what did the guy do is the museum, the owner of that art, he just went and pasted another banana on the wall. So everyone was left scratching their head. They're like, uh, what is it that, you know, why are you charging $100,000? Is, is it for the banana? Because if it was for the banana, they, the guy ate it. So then he mentioned that it's not the banana that they're charging so much money for. They're charging for the, the artistic thought, the thought that you paste a banana on a wall and you pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. Okay. Now, we felt that was crazy. Then there was a art where, um, you know, they had paintings on the wall, which were all white, white paint. Just think of a canvas and on that, there's only white paint. Different, different, uh, I don't know, same, it is all white color just a little bit of shading here and there, but it's white. All of it is white. That one, uh, some, the texture was pretty rough. Some was smooth and all that. That, the white paintings were sold for hundred thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, I thought that was crazy. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, then obviously you got people who tried different things. Some people put paint in their mouth and they spat it out. Some people put paint in their this actually happened. Uh, a girl was tied naked and she was dripped with paint and she was hung and, you know, released and wherever the paint was on. Some put paint in their vaginas, private parts and let it flow. So that's sold for millions. And now if you thought it was crazy, we have NFT. NFT is non-fungible tokens. Means you... I, I don't even know how to explain it. Okay. Anyway, uh, these digital art paints, which you can copy, paste, screenshot, whatever, they are being sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Fine. Now I just got this news. I found it on my phone when I was browsing through YouTube. And at first I didn't believe it. I really didn't believe it. Finally, I Google searched and I found the article. It's from juniperspots.com. An artist sells... And before I even tell you, remember, I want your thoughts. Okay. I want your thoughts down below. Now, normally we pay for, we pay for something that you can see, something you can touch. Sometimes you, you can show people. This guy sold an invisible, invisible sculptor for 15,000 euros. Means you can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't sense it. You can't smell it. Nothing. It's invisible. But he's selling, he has sold it for 15,000 euros. Now, I'll read out the article and you tell me what do you think. May 28th, 2021. Italian artist Salvatore Gar, Garau, Garau, whatever his name is, has managed to sell an invisible sculpture for a price of 15,000 euros. That's around 18,300 US dollars. The work of art is called Lo Sono, I Am. And it is about an immaterial work completely invisible. You can't see it. It's not there. But he says it is there. In addition, the artist defends himself saying, I have not sold anything, but I have sold a vacuum. Means I've sold nothingness. Like, you know, I make these videos about nothing. He sold nothing. Okay. However, the requirement, now this is the part where it gets strange. The requirement is imposed by the creator, which is even more surprising is, since the artwork must be placed in a home, if you have paid money for it, you have to show a special room. There should be a special room dedicated for this art piece. 
which should be free from any obstacles with a dimension of 150 centimeter by 150 centimeter on the ground you have to measure and show him and that place should be dedicated for the invisible sculpture okay you have to draw and there will be a space and uh, that is where he will place his invisible sculpture the vacuum is nothing more than space full of energy and even if we are empty it is still there nothing is left according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle that nothing has weight therefore it has energy that is condensed and transformed into particles that is in us explained salvatore garao wow, wow you know the the thing is it, it kind of reminds me of this um, when you ask deepak chopra or you ask any guru or you know some of these idiots like uh, eckhart tolle and all that the oneness the quantum soup the nothingness that is there in everyone that that binds all of us you know they 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 use all these woo woo words to explain nonsense so the part that that baffles me is not this this idiot who's selling nonsense but the idiot who has paid money for this nonsense it's like that uh, nft 5000 days this guy paid 65 million dollars in i don't know in uh, crypto 65000 65 million dollars for a jpeg image as it is i don't think that is hard and money and on top of that you pay the now what are you going to do with it seriously what are you going to do with that nft that you can't physically store it it's online what, what do you do with it okay the moment you decide to expose an immaterial sculpture in a given space that space will concentrate a certain amount of density of thoughts at a precise point creating a sculpture that alone from the title will adopt its various forms mm fantastic fantastic so my dear friends let me know what do you think of this this is a statue you cannot see you cannot feel you cannot nothing but you should sense it sense it with the nothingness that like the word he has spoken it is an immaterial sculpture in a given space that same space which will concentrate a certain amount to the density of your thoughts into a precise point which will create a sculpture from the thought process itself and it'll adopt an amazing form Ooh, fantastic! So he sold this for eighteen thousand three hundred US dollars. Anyway, I'm also thinking of becoming a sculptor. I'll be selling uh, invisible properties, invisible paintings, invisible sculptures, invisible feelings, and I'll be giving you at a special price. So if any one of you wants limited edition. from my side invisible stuff trust me i'll be selling it to you at a record price record price huh? so anyway i'm getting too old for this nonsense i really don't know what to think you guys let me know what do you think <sighs> anyway guys like uh, this guy uh, i remember one of the guys he sold air He sold his air. Then he had this Bell Delphine. She sold bath water. The bath she had bath water on her body. She sold it for quite a sum of money. In fact, she even sold her the condom that the guy put, which entered her vagina. She sold there. There have been people who sold their underwears. Okay, that one at least you can touch. Yes, it's disgusting and all, but this one is there's nothing. It's like uh, when you go to any of these religious people and they say, "I will contribute to God. Can you ask God to bless me?" So, God blesses you. You know, you pay money to the church or build a masjid. Uh, then in Jannah, in heaven, you get some blessings. I think it must be something like that. You know, getting too old for all this. What to say? Okay. Put your thoughts and comments down below. This is me signing off. <sighs> Ooh.
my head is spinning. <laughs> okay, all right. Chal guys, see you. The world is going crazy. NFT, crypto, this nonsense. Okay, chal, take care.